Well, we just reported a few moments ago the man accused of killing eight-year-old Libby Kletsky is expected to be indicted this week. Uh, his attorney, the attorney for Levy, Levy Aaron, you see him right there, and his attorney is right next to him. They entered a not guilty plea and they asked for a psychiatric evaluation. Here's the attorney. He's indicated to me that he hears voices and there's some hallucinations involved as well. His attorney, Pierre Bazel, joins us this morning. Thank you so much for being here with us. When was the last time you spoke with your client and what, what's going on with him? Uh, the last time I spoke with him was in court. He's currently being evaluated uh, psychiatrically at Bellevue Hospital. Uh, I intend to sit down with him again in the next day or so. Did, to, your, uh, did, your, client, did your client kill that boy? I couldn't answer that question. He's entered a not guilty plea. You, you, you talk about that he, he's hearing voices. Um, what led you to say that in court? What led me to say that he indicated that he was hearing voices, I can't really elaborate very much because of privilege. Uh, that's, of course, uh, going to be fleshed out at the time of trial, of course. The police, they have a confession here. They have two confessions, my understanding. They have a written confession signed by him, written by him, and they also have a videotaped confession where he admits uh, to all of this. He gives them ample detail, and he even expresses regret. Do you contest the confessions in this case? I couldn't possibly contest the confessions at this time because the police and the authorities have chosen to leak them to the press, but they still haven't provided them to me. I haven't seen them. I don't know what they say, so I can't comment. Did they leak them to the press? Because I have not seen them. I, I've seen them quoted. I mean, did you have any problem with the press conferences that have been held so far, the public forums in this case? No, no, no problem with them so far. I just think it would have been uh, appropriate to have turned them over to the defense uh, sooner rather than later. I'm, he I'm getting more information from the news media than I am from uh, the authorities, so that's disturbing. Let's talk about Mr. Um, Aaron's ins possible insanity defense. I mean, it seems like anybody who gets caught, you know, in a murder, they're, they're hearing voices. I mean, it's kind of like a, an easy excuse. I mean, you have to be a little crazy to want to kill somebody anyway. Um, I mean, what, what is the degree of craziness here? Well, I'm not a psychiatrist, and it's really not my duty or my job to diagnose the defendant. Uh, this time, he's being evaluated at Bellevue. We're going to have some independent experts at some time. Uh, do an evaluation of him as well. So I can't tell you what the nature of the disorder is, but I think as you just said, I mean, it, it would be difficult to believe that somebody would actually commit an act like this unless there was some sort of disorder or imbalance involved. Do you have any indication right now that he has had any kind of mental problems in the past? Uh, I have had some, but I don't know if it's necessarily proper to comment on them this time because they're still under investigation. He's at Bellevue right now? That's my understanding, correct. How concerned are you about his physical safety? When he walked into that courtroom the other day, we heard other, um, well, accused, accused criminals in court. You couldn't see them, but they were in the jail portion yelling things like, kill the murderer. I mean, he w it, it seems like it's a very dangerous time for him. It is, but I've, uh, I've been there next to him. I've seen the police and the uh, corrections department there with him. They're doing a good job of uh, protecting him. That's their duty, and they're doing a good job of that. I have no... Uh, Quarrel with How him. did you come into this case? I was retained by his family on his behalf. How did you know the family? Uh, I was uh, retained through another attorney. Another, they contacted another attorney who was not necessarily involved in criminal law, and he contacted me. Are you familiar with the community there? Uh, I am familiar with the community. Yeah. And, and, and has this man ever been uh, on anybody's radar before then? Because this weekend we were hearing things about a neighbor who uh, supposedly was concerned that at, maybe at one point Mr. Aaron tried to uh, take her children or her child. Um, have, how ensconced in the community are you in, in I can't, hearing I can't about these kind of things? I can't really tell you about whether he's on anybody's radar. To the best of everybody's knowledge, uh, this is a guy who had little to no criminal record prior to this. I think he had a traffic ticket and a public urination and nothing more. So uh, I don't have anything more on his uh, prior history other than that. Since his arrest, has he been treated fairly, in your opinion? Any problems that you have right now? With the, with the authorities? Yes, since General, his arrest. Generally, no, other than the fact that there's allegedly a confession and a videotape statement that I still haven't seen. Why? Now, when would you get that? Can, can you, with discovery, right? That's called discovery. discovery. When do you get that The prosecution will turn it over. I expect them to turn it over shortly. I just would have liked them to turn it over a little sooner than they have, but fair, I expect it shortly. Fair to say you are exploring an insanity defense? Well, at this time, like as I just said, I, it would be hard to believe if somebody had committed an act like this, it would be hard to believe that there wasn't some kind of imbalance uh, involved. 
some sort of disorder, so that is a possibility, but it's really not fair for me to comment further than that. As a former police officer, now attorney, uh, what kind of pressure are you getting uh, defending a man like this? Uh, I've been getting some, uh, some negative comments. You know, Death some, threats? Uh, that would be fair to say, but uh, I'm not going to let that deter me. When will you see your client again? I will see him again in the next couple of days. I don't want to comment on exactly when, but I will be speaking to him in the next day or so. Pierre Bazil, the um, man in the middle of uh, probably the most prominent case in the city right now, thank you very much for being here on Good Day New York. Thank you.